from the Gu Jiang, a traditional instrument thousands of years old, to special tea ceremonies, the Tauranga branch of the NZ China Friendship Society is on a mission to promote Chinese culture to local residents. In Tauranga, we have uh, more than 200 members. It so will be half local Kiwi and half Chinese. So this is a good way to let the Chinese people to meet, have a friendship with local people. Besides showcasing traditional Chinese practices, it also helps migrants settle into the area and keeps them updated in an emergency. We work with uh, the emergency from council to let them know the emergency things happened, what they needed to do. For example, we can help them to let them know there's an emergency bag. If the things happened, what kind of things they need to bring. So they need to pack a bag. If things happen, they, one minute they can go. At the heart of the society, though, is keeping local migrants connected to some of China's biggest festivities. Every year we got a two big celebration. One is a moon festival, one is a Chinese New Year. We can get all the Chinese people make it like a family. And also we like invited all the Kiwi people to join us to know more about our Chinese culture. My name is Fiona Lin and I've been playing my instrument called Gu Zheng for nearly one year. 15-year-old Fiona has lived in New Zealand since she was five. She picked up the Gu Zhang as a way to honour the traditions of her homeland. I chose this is because most people are learning like Western instruments like violin and piano and I want to like still save the, our tradition and play this so everyone else could see that this is still going on. My instrument has 21 strings. You play it with these plugs that you tie around your hand with these tapes. It's kind of similar to guitars, but it just has more strings and different kind of sounds. A traditional tea ceremony is also an important cultural ritual. We set up in Hester village a few months ago. Most of people come from China and they don't know anyone here. So we want to have a room to them, we can talk. And also the local people they can know the, a little bit Chinese culture like a tea and also the calligraphy. We want to offer people real Chinese tea and also you know Chinese people like tea so when they come here they would like to try this like a, come back to home. So we offer people here have a green tea, have a white tea and a dark tea. Also have a special one it's Chinese orange tea. So. The round of is orange, we put tea inside and dry it. So when you taste it, you can taste a little bit orange with the tea. The seventh New Zealand Chinese Folk Culture Festival was recently cancelled due to the bad weather, but the society hopes to reschedule in the coming weeks. Held at the historic village, it will be an opportunity for locals to see, hear and taste unique Chinese culture. So we are going to have a traditional Chinese music and also we got a traditional dance. A major draw of the event will be a unique food street where festival goers will be able to try authentic Chinese cuisine. All the Chinese food is the homemade, as you can't find from the restaurant. So I just asked the Chinese community who would like to, to cook the traditional hometown food. So because away from different hometowns, so they got a different type of food. For example, we got a barbecue like kebab, so you can't find it anywhere in Taronga. For updates on the Folk Culture Festival, keep an eye on the Society's Facebook page. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.